Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Solving for X in your mathematics N1 is um, always encouraged because when you are able to master this uh, part of solving for x, it is guaranteed that you will actually um, be in, a, in on the road to getting your distinction for your exam because most of the questions actually uh, end up requiring you to solve for x. Yes, there are some which just want you to simplify, but the more you solve for x, the better you become at your mathematics. And when you are going for your N2 and your N3, this n1 of solving for x is a good foundation for that now let us look at this example it says solve for x and leave so you must be very careful with such instructions because if you don't do that they'll penalize your mark so you are going to solve for x which is fine but it says leave your answer as a mixed as a mixed fraction now remember a mixed fraction is like this one and one over two is an example or three and 1 over 5 so this is a mixed fraction don't leave it like this 11 over 2 if you leave it as 11 over 2 this is an improper fraction of 15 over 7 it's an improper fraction if you leave it like that you will lose your marks now let us look at this uh, kind of a problem how are you going to approach it it is um, not really a complicated kind of a problem what you needed to do they wanted to test your skill of expanding first so that's the first part to expand here you need to expand in other ways you need to open the bracket even here you need to expand that's what they were uh, kind of testing you to say are you able to expand and now in the first part how to expand the three multiplies that 2x and the 3 multiplies that minus 3. The first one is not a problem. It is the second expanding that you needed to be uh, a little bit careful because you have the negative 3. Now, whenever you're expanding here, don't forget it is the negative 3 which multiplies the 4x and it is the negative 3 which multiplies the minus 5. So now let us do that and see uh, how this was simplifying on the first one 3 times 2x you are getting 6x and 3 times minus 3 again you can see I'm just using my calculator not risking it is 3 times minus 3 I'm getting a negative 9 most of the people usually confuse 3 times minus 3 they'll say 6 because they say 3 plus 3 but in this case it is minus 9 rely on your calculator so that you don't make errors and then you've got your minus 7 which is not a problem there is equal to 9 now we are expanding minus 3 times 4 rely on your calculator minus 3 times 4 you can see i'm just using i'm saying 4 but i can say positive 4 there which is negative 12 why because there is a positive sign there so the negative is powerful which is negative 12 that's what i got and then the next one is minus 3 times minus 5 so it's minus 3 times minus 5 i'm getting in this case 15 which is positive right positive 15. when i've done that the next skill that they wanted, so I've, I've, I've been tested on the skill of what? Expanding. The next skill that they wanted to test here was the skill of being able to collect like terms, which is grouping. 
or collect like terms collect like that's what they were testing me to say am i able to group or collect like terms while solving for x so how do i collect like terms in this case now the first thing to remember is i have an equal sign so some will jump the equal sign to, to from uh from the left i mean from the right to the left some will jump the equal sign from the left to the right but every time there is a jumping of the equal sign remember the sign has to change that is very important for example i can choose to make the the, the x on the right hand side this x you see the x is combined with minus 12x so the sign is very important that it is negative so it is going to jump the equal sign when it jumps the equal sign it will change from negative to positive so it's such that i will have 6x plus 12x do you see how the sign changed it was negative it became positive so that is very important uh, to remember why because it jumped the equal sign to come and join uh, the six which is the grouping that i'm talking about or the collecting of like terms and then i'm going to take all the numbers on the other side of the equal sign but you can see that already i have got my nine there is no jumping so it remains the same i have got my 15 there is no jumping it remains the same but there are two numbers which is minus nine so the minus nine is going to jump and minus seven is also going to jump so these are the ones which must change from minus nine it's plus nine from minus seven it's plus seven so you see how the importance of the equal sign and respecting that whenever anything jumps the equal sign its sign has to change after i've done that then i use my calculator on the left hand side you see i have 6x plus 12x don't let the x confuse you you just focus on the number 6 plus 12 that's what you're looking at and then you just maintain your x so it is 18 18x in that case is equal to then you add your numbers again on the right hand side which is 9 plus 15 plus 9 plus 7 you see that i'm getting 40 on the other side then final answer there for me to uh, remain with x remember i'm solving for x now for me to remain with x is to get rid of this 18 and to get rid of this 18 what you need to know is it's 18x it means there is a multiplication it's 18 times x now to get rid of that i can only do that by dividing both sides by what i don't want on the part of x so i don't want this particular x so that it will cancel and cancel so 18 there 18 there such that now i have got my x remaining is equal to but what i do on the left i must also do on the right hand side so it is uh in this case it is 18 it is 40 divided by 18 and again remember the calculator will solve all this for you you don't have to actually scratch your head you see it is 20 over 9 so you are going to say 20 over 9 it is interesting let me write it again x is equal to 20 over 9 it is interesting because in this case we say the question was uh, leave your answer as a mixed number so you can see that the calculator when you say in this case uh, 40 over 18 you see the calculator only leaves the answer as a an improper fraction but how do you convert this to a mixed number you say shift you press sd there you see that it is going to convert it from that to 2 and 2 over 9 this is what they mean as a mixed number which therefore becomes 2 and 2 over 9 so the answer is here that is where they wanted your final answer is otherwise you're going to be penalized a mark and remember such a question is about six marks so for you if you left it as 20 over 9 you're going to get five marks just think of it how um, 
uh, set it is to work all this and to forget to leave the answer as a mixed number which your calculator can give you and you end up losing your mark now when you have got your answer you can prove uh, you can prove your answer how do you prove your answer in this case what you do we can come here and say proof you can just do this I'll call it uh, with a different say and say this is my proof now in my proof what I do is I take the value of X remember the original value that is easier with the calculator is 20 over 19 so I'm going to say 3 into 2 my X remember is 20 over 9 which is same as 2 and 2 over 9 but let me just use the improper fraction version minus 3 minus 7 is equal to 9 minus 3 and then I've got 4 bracket 20 over 9 minus 5 and then I close the bracket what am I doing I'm trying to test if the value of X that I got is the correct one so when I do that I have to start with the left hand side and calculate it I have got 3 bracket 2 there is another bracket fraction 20 over 9 close that bracket right and then I've got minus 3 and close the second bracket and it's minus 7 so there's nothing after that you can see that I'm getting minus 8 over 3 here it's minus 8 over 3 if my answer is correct I must also get minus 8 over 3 on the right hand side remember the left hand side must be equal to the right hand side so let me test my right hand side I do the same thing it will be 9 minus 3 and then is bracket 4 into fraction 20 over 9 then close that and then is minus 5 and then you close that bracket what am I getting it's minus 8 over 3 which is negative 8 over 3 you know whenever you do that there is a big relief because if you're in the exam and you are proving it like this remember you do this in a, in your rough work you will be guaranteed 100% your answer is correct why because your left hand side is balancing with your right hand side so whenever something like this is happening you will be guaranteed that I got the whole six marks and you will go out of that room knowing actually how many marks you managed to get in your final exam now this is the strategy that I use when I'm solving for X I hope it was of benefit to you thank you I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as I said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you